But yeah. what was another question is, you said how many, people ask you how many words uh, per yeah, slide. Yeah, how many or words on a one, slide and how many, and how many slides. slides. Yeah, so. So what's your I, answer to how many no, slides? No, you have to answer this one. Well, <laughs> it's not a good answer because I always, you know, I always say um, it depends, <laughs> which isn't a good answer, <laughs> but it does depend. But, you know, people want an answer. They want, you know, a 10 right. like Guy Kawasaki with that. 10, 10, 20, 30 yeah, rule. That's, a, that's yeah. a good method. It's a good rule. It works for him. You could try that. There's Pecha Kucha. There is Ignite. But the thing is, we are used to watching lots of uh, visuals in, say, 20 minutes. So if you look at a, a TV screen, I don't know if you can see that. Is that big enough, Paul? Yep. Can you kind of see that? And you're watching CNN or any of them, whatever. You basically see kind of like a talking head. <laughs> <laughs> Make her pretty. And they're talking. Oh. <laughs> eyelashes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, she's a looker. Anyway. Oh, that looks like... <laughs> Horrible. Anyway, <laughs> let's make her smile somehow. Okay, cool. there's your talking head. Too much detail. But when you're watching this, um, you know, there, a video might come in, right? Yeah. That might be video that goes with uh, the content of what she's saying, or um, sometimes it might be um, the highlighted like, three major points from the G8 summit, whatever. So then there's bullets. three bullets come in, or something else might come in down here. I mean, all this, and, and I don't, I'm not talking about the stuff that you see on CNN, the garbage kind of filler stuff, like stock quotes here or coming up next, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not that kind of thing, but I mean content, text, images, and video that relates and supports what this anchor woman or man is saying. I, I haven't done the research on this, but if you did, I would, would guess it's like 300 slides if each one mm -hmm. was a slide because each time something different comes in yeah, how often it changes in a half an hour yeah. and we're just used to that and we're watching this person and we're looking at the visuals it's all in our, our field of view so uh, people do have a schema for you know watching visuals yeah. but not reading lots of text because that's a different channel we can look at a quantitative display and listen to someone that we can do uh, but it's very difficult if there's lots of text but there's some text like highlight things maybe a process a b c one two three or things like how many people died or what's the budget mm -hmm. <laughs> you know all these kinds of things so anyway my answer is to how many slides it, it just depends does but it depend the, on the pacing like doesn't it depend yeah. on the presenter and the, their own skill the and comfort and the, and the style what you want to do one slide or two slides it can be fine too especially if there's a lot of stuff in there you just take your time and you mm -hmm. explain it and you, it's more of a discussion I mean it doesn't work as well for the sort of keynote type the large ballroom type of presentations but for teaching certainly I you know if you go through a, like a Larry Lezig thing um, that's good for 20 minutes maybe but then you want to have 50 minutes of discussion and yeah. other things going on yeah. so that's a long-winded answer of saying case by case but what do you say but I, I think it all depends on the presenter and how comfortable Wait, they what are I say, yeah <laughs> so it all depends <laughs> so we agree it all depends um, I think I think that uh, they're how comfortable they are with their relationship with the media mm -hmm. is a big thing and how well rehearsed they are so if they're not rehearsed that's a failure right there but if yeah. they've really put only one message per slide it all depends on how long they need to spend with each message mm. so my thing is is they they make as many slides as we used to say um, one slide for every two minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that's way too long. That mm -hmm. means that they've mm -hmm. got too many points they're trying to cover even in two minutes right, usually. Right, right. So they really need to just have one message per slide. And depending on how quickly sure. and briskly it makes sense of how quickly you're transitioning from slide to slide would determine mm -hmm. um, how many slides you need to complete your complete your presentation. So it, it does. It depends. Okay. So I usually, I mean, in a half hour, I can go through 300. Right. I can go through 300 slides. Sure. And I talk fast and it's quick but paced. Could and you imagine sometimes in the old <laughs> days I used to do presentations and let's say an hour it was pretty long for a, a, a talk but these were mm -hmm. keynote and they'd maybe have 400 slides but they're not actual sometimes they're just animation but if right. the actual slides would be about 400 and I asked people at the end of my talk how many slides do you think I had mm -hmm. during, this is during Q and A and they would say 50 40 which is still much more than they could ever imagine and then when they hear it's 400 they're like it didn't blown seem away. like it was 400 well if i would have started the presentation i'd say what if i started well t folks let's get started because we have 400 slides to get through <laughs> i did i submitted wouldn't. i was supposed to speak at a lunch thing and it was 45 minutes mm -hmm. and so they were like i have to have your slides a month ahead of time i'm mm -hmm. like wow i do this for a living okay so i send them my slides a month ahead of time and uh, they called me back and they said oh we've decided to cut your talk to 25 minutes mm -hmm. and i'm like oh my god so i redid them all redid them all I get mm -hmm. there they're like oh 
You really have 45 minutes, but you had so many slides. We thought we'd tell you 25 so you fit in the 45-minute <laughs> thing. And I'm like, well, you know what? You told me 25. I rehearsed to 25. I'm going to deliver 25 minutes. And that was wrong. Yeah. I mean, I really do go through that many slides, and I had it completely. Right. So I had to redo my whole presentation mm. to fit within 25 minutes when they were really just trying to trick me on my right. slide count. And right. I was like, not a happy girl. You don't do that to me. I will not speak there again. Yeah. So I mean, you certainly can have too many slides. You can't have too few because zero yeah, is fine. which is powerful. So, right. <laughs> so uh, too many, of course, you could. If it's on, if it, I mean, Lawrence Lesig does his pretty fast, and that's mm -hmm. okay. But it's rhythmical. It's like music. It's like jazz. Sometimes really fast. It's seem his relationship and with the slides is seamless. So yeah. I, if you're jerky or look mm -hmm. like an idiot, or you're like, what am I going to say? And yeah. you're using it as a teleprompt. It's it's right. not seamless. And he goes real fast. But sometimes he integrates so the media really well. Yeah. And not sometimes everyone it might be that. one second or two or three, which seems very fast. And if he did that constantly, it would be too much. But yeah. it's again, it's it's like music. Yeah. And if you can stop, fade to black, hit the beat key or just have a black slide in there, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. Go do something else. And then when you're on it. So I, I think it's uh, very much uh, like music.